hello, hello. Just getting my uh, things together. Because I need to do a tweet. I pulled out my phone to, to post that I'm live and I didn't do that. Good job, me. Alright, where was I going? What was I doing? Oh yeah, an extraordinary marble. Do I want the... Please, sir, can I have some marble? Oh my god, where is this thing? Uh Ah, here it is. Three reeds? There. Whispering Waters in Rosaria. Okay. Because, oh my god. I guess I'm talking to air. Um, let's see, do I have here? I've got everything. Oh, 
Oh, I'm not there. Good job. Not where I wanted to go. I'm there already. Wow. Do I have to look up the marble first? Cole said it was an army of a cash. Do I not have this obelisk? Probably not, because that's the way my life goes. Where was the problem? Aha! All right, hopefully people are here and just lurking and I'm not talking to air. Um... Testing, testing. Um, what is this? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. All right, testing, testing. As my captions are being picked up, so hopefully, hopefully that works. When I ran Clive off the road, good job.
All right, I guess I'm talking to myself. There we go. Error captions. Oh, hi, Danny. Oh, do I have to go in there? I sure do. Good job, me. That's right, I don't have Jill. Oh my god, I keep having to go here. How's your day going, Leif? Rude? How do you like this fucking breath, Morble? Oh no. Uh I am okay. Um I'm doing a monster hunt just so I can clear off my board. But also, I need it for... Also, I'm not doing a good job here. Toggle. I'm okay. I actually got my boxes broken down. Got some cleaning done. But I also have been, uh, oh yes, perfect timing. Uh, I've been trying to declutter and get my office where I wanted it. How about you? Who's a cute doggo you are hanging out with? Get this work. Kind of terrifying that that Marlboro literally is tunneling.
to me, boy. Oh, it's like that. Cool. I'm trying to ruin this marble. Ugh, gross. Where am I? Oh no! Yeah. Oh shit! I wasted that. You are almost dead. You know what? You son of an even whore. this you oh and I leveled nice the doggo is so cute. Ugh. That was definitely anything but ordinary. Now, let's get this vine back to the yard. Oh, that was disgusting. Oh no. That sucks, Leaf. I'm sorry. Ooh, let me let me restock my potions though. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Let's stock up. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Finished, are you? I. I mean, doggo, though. Oh, how's the audio to my voice, Leaf? Um, I was having problems with it yesterday. 
Sid, I uh, can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. Yeah, it's your problem now. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with uh, with uh, Zelda yesterday. Successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards. The music was drowning me out. The game drowned me out quite a bit. I suspect the results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. Yeah, I don't know why the audio balance was so bad yesterday. Witness how the Morgan Beards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid. You've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more. But this time, with the petals from the invigorated Morgan Beards, and would you believe it's oh has is that the dog's name chutney that's so cute i i need more chutney picks okay i need to unsub from a bunch of Mailing list because oh my god my email is nothing but sales. I want to try the game that Steven's playing, Wandering Village. Aww. I will be surrounded by doggos next week. I'm very excited. <gasps> Conceivable potency maxima. That mean. That's good to know. Yes, I will give Susie many head pats. Unless, of course, she decides to kill me or scare me half to death again. She is a very wiggly, excitable doggo, but she is a very sweet doggo. I get to see Kiros and Scotty and Deidre's old but sweet doggo. Oh, it's on Game Pass? Good to know. I need to look at my hard drive because I suddenly had, like, no space on my hard drive. My main one. Um, and I have no idea why. I didn't install anything. Unless something installed a C on its own and I didn't want it to. Pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Uh, is it Xbox or PC Game Pass? Do you know? Also, where the fuck did Dion go? He just got up and left. Okay. I keep pressing the wrong button. I've been playing too much, uh... What do you call it? Playing too much, uh, Zelda.
return to the ironworks for the hell. Okay. Yeah, I need to check my PC because I suddenly went from having 60 gigs free on C to 15, and I have no idea why. Are you playing this leaf or nah, it's not your thing? I was right, Clive. My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Iron is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This uh, yeah. is Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like But they've that. been having more PS5s if you order direct from Sony. That's how I got mine, actually. Um, I, I lucked out getting one at launch, no lie. Only what the bards sing. For some reason I thought you had a PS5. I don't know why. From southern lands. But it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. Really? But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cool was meant to be hidden! Ugh. Mid! Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready! But hurry! Bullocks! All hands! Man your stations! I'll get on your case too. Hey, Panda. The fuck, where did these people even come from? Oh shit, everybody's here. Oh shit, we got everybody. Oh no. No worries. Oh no. I'm sorry, Panda. From the storms. Kashik. Well, shit. Well, that was horrifying. That offer, Gav. How are we doing, Mid? I thought you said that ship was fast. Come on. Line up for me. Come on then. Which of you lot fancies meeting Oga Killer next? I thought it was called hard for it. Boy. Rude? Damn it. Okay, you are pissing me off. Ah! 
This motherfucker is pushing me back while I'm hitting him with Mega Flare. Excuse me? I'm hurt, Toggle. Yes. Okay, this is amazing. Oh, that was rude. Almost down, you're almost down. And you're about to be finished. Okay. It's been up and down here. It's bright and sunny now, but earlier it did look like it was gonna rain. Alright, you lousy lot. Get your asses on board. She's ready to sail. You heard the captain. <laughs> I'm I'm really sad to find out the guy who voiced motherfucker come from but I thought he was confounded then it is as I feared Sleipnir is no man but a creation of Odin really Phoenix's fiery fundament have you no normal enemies? Wow. Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rossfield? My boy, there was a time people called me the Executioner. Or was it my eyes? No matter, heads will roll. Again? Mate, new plan! You leave, we follow! Follow? Swimming, are you? Have care, my friends. It is not blood that runs through an edge's veins. These foes will not fall easily. But they will fall. Like oaks before a woodman's axe. Good thing I brought one! I was not trying to fight Slepnir again, because that was a bullshit fight. As it was. As long as it takes. Unless you have a better idea. Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. Fuck it. Let's do the lot. <laughs> I love Gav so much. His voice actor is really sweet. Oops, the fuck? Oh, slept near. These are all duplicates. Fuck me. Should we make for the ship? Not yet. Wait for my signal. Help me, boy. I hate you, whoever did that. Or...
right. Run for it. Let's go. Boy, Gav. Please be a cinematic and not make me actually run. Oh no! My hip! My sciatica! Come on, Clive! Hurry the fuck up! I really hope you can swim, Clive! Wait, didn't she just move like a few months ago? Or am I misremembering? Now, mate! Alright, engines go ahead! Uh, Clive? Hold on tight! Sir? You were just barely holding on. Ah. Uh. Oh. What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. <sighs> you are my offering to Mythos. I would not see you damaged. Okay, and then I'm misremembering because I feel like she had just moved. Now back to your stations! Every bell spent treading water puts another league between us and the galleon. I had a split. I suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ah. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. Oh, that'll be good. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandalar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. <laughs> oh, Uncle Byron. Cheerio. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Do 
keep up, my boy. Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. Aww. Dion. Oh, nice. I still have not come over to do the massive laundry haul, which I'll probably have to wait until after. Maybe even after PAX or the week before PAX. Oh, Dion. What have I done? My lord. Dion just fucked off. Yeah, it's just figuring out when. Cause today and tomorrow I'm trying to clean up this place and you still have um Are you all still doing revelry? Next weekend I'm out of town. The weekend after, my Sunday might be free. I'm trying to get in and get my hair done before PAX. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it took him forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Um, I don't know if you or B would be interested or even want to come down to the city, but Lobster Fest is the weekend of the 19th. Look alive, boys! Full ahead! And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye. Do you feel that, Jill? Hey, how are you? How goes? I right, please be safe. I'll be here for a bit. How was your gym session? That's something I need to do later today too. Is find my workout clothes. Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them condemning both to the same fate. Uh, not the 19th. That is the day we're going to Lobster Fest. We already have t uh, tickets. Oh, I haven't been to Ren Fair in forever. Ren Fair is a long fucking day. Oh, shit. Is not my blade cannot sever. Ah. Uh. Oh shit. Uh, it's downtown in Navy Pier.
I say if you like lobster and feel like coming into the city, it's a good time. Because the next weekend I'm going to try to get in and get my hair done before PAX. Or the week after. So I'll like get in before PAX because I am basically gone a week for PAX. And Danny, I am sad I will not be at Gen Con. I don't know if sad's the right word. I like how Steven said he's not going to be streaming for much longer, and he's been on four hours with this game. That's hilarious to me. I'm not going to be on for too much longer. Three hours later. Are you going to PAX by chance, or PAX, on, PAX West or Unplugged? If you Unplugged, I will absolutely be there. And actually, Danny, I don't know if you saw on Twitter, I did put out a form to gauge interest for panels. Um, it's going to be a little bit different this year because... Fine. That's how we're going to be. Uh... Because unlike last year, work has to approve panels and people. Protect. Okay, you gotta go. I'm not going to talk about this publicly, but I am going back to the gym starting Monday. I feel many feelings about Big Bad Con, especially with how the, uh, the, well, I can tell you more offline, but basically I offered to donate to Big Bad Con and was told, oh, we're not accepting, we're not fundraising right now, which I found really strange. Like, cool. That's good to know. Oh. 
Oh, I'm sure. Where the fuck am I going? Go get that. Why is it so fucking dark in here? Don't like that. Wait, which ship are we on? <sighs> oh shit! There he is! He wants him alive! Hold on, I'm coming for both of you. All right. Help me, boy. Oh my god, I love this so much. Die! New enemies approach. Oh yeah, you gotta go first. Holy dog shit! Oh, that hurt. Um, a really, really large armored man just dog walked me up some stairs.
All right, I'm trying to find Jill. I finally beat him, but it took a lot of potions. Don't mind me just casting lightning everywhere in the cell. Game's like, we're gonna ignore the fact that you're on a large wooden ship. I did, but it was some work. I was coming out of nowhere with these big ass enemies. Jill. You came. Get back. Uh. Clive, how did you? I'll explain later. Hands. <laughs> Can you walk? Out of here I can. Stand still! Phoenix... Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. Oh, that's just rude. <sighs> oh, okay then. I like how we're we're a phoenix on a wooden ship and nothing has caught fire. Oh no, not another. Not another. Oh shit. Jesus. No! Uh, Danny, since you're driving... Basically, the ship I'm on is about to fall into a crevice in the ocean. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, shit. How did this fucker cut off? He cut a swath in the ocean. And it's staying split. I... How... Can you go on? I think so. We just walked, we got off the ship, but now we're in the middle of the ocean. If that gap closes, we will die. But to where? No, for real. Hey, Steven. Hello, hello. I was amused. I had, I still had the stream up. And I was so amused at your, I'm not going to be on much longer. Four hours later. Welcome on in, everybody. We're playing more Final Fantasy 16 is grown thick with desperation 
And thus has my master turned to my blade. Hello, hello. The world will nice. see painted in black. I'm concerned that we're in the middle of the ocean floor after he has literally carved a, a swath through the ocean. If this closes, we all die. Hey, Soterica, thanks for the resub. Do you truly think it's so simple? Uh, this is Odin. Welcome, everybody. For the few people I may not know, Cypher, I do a lot of variety, and my variety right now is this and Tears of the Kingdom until uh, Baldur's Gate 3 comes out. Aww. I want to play that in uh, Springleaf said it is on uh, Game Pass, which I didn't know. <laughs> I love Clive so much. I did not think I would like this game this much. Oh, blind resolve. Hey, Melissa. See, I'm more concerned with the fact that we're on the ocean floor. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Not the come here gesture. Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. <sighs> Not the come hither look. Oh shit. Don't have to do this. Oh, but we do. If only to remind you of your duty. What duty? I didn't. I didn't agree to any of this shit. Fine. Seven dash. Like, I didn't agree to any of this shit. In the short time since our last meeting, oh, I'm about to die. I need a potion. It has a vessel. I fear my lord will still find you lacking. Oh, that hurts. I should not be doing that. That hurt. Fire and fury, and for what? Stopping the blight. A foolish notion fed to you by a I stop talking. It's because I'm trying not to die. You know not of this world or of our place in it. If our fates were so easily rewritten, we would all be gods. To me, boy. Yeah. On, let me get a parry. Defend yourself. Ah! Holy shit! What in the actual fuck? If reason cannot sway you. Oh no, we can't allow whatever this is. Ah, oh, shit, where is he? You will assume the mantle you've been given. given. Absolutely not. Fuck and face. This is the light of hope severed. <gasps> Clive! So soon. Never. Clive! 
Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. Okay, Barnabas, you need to stop going to church. We are more than that. You would be nothing without what he has granted you. Barnabas, you, you've been swallowing the Kool-Aid, buddy. And yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The icon. Seriously. It is too much for even his chosen few. Jesus, but Barnabas. You, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying. I can any of you all just speak is that plainly. Any dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your what? divine purpose. Which is to feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Right? Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord in his mercy has taken pity on his flawed creation. Barnabas, you need to be deprogrammed ASAP. Exactly would that be? Why loyal servants to God? Bro. No. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. Also, is it me or does Barnabas look distinctly non-white? Why is the evil religious guy the non-white one? Where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiance, This game is basically no gods, no masters. The the chains of consciousness become. Uh, I've mentioned that several times, that it is under the bottom of the parted ocean, because Barnabas did that with his sword. And here comes the ocean to come back. Well! And now we die. The stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. <sighs> Clive, you are not much better! You're the one that almost got cut in half! There 
Look back! Get turned to a pillar of salt. Don't look. Clive bested. Jesus. That's twice now Barnabas has kicked our ass. I mean, what else is the game giving us but extreme religious ideology right now? They said they were inspired by Game of Thrones. So. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the ice where it led. We need only wait till dawn. Uh, why y'all naked? Oh. Um. This is best in me. I'm powerless against him. Why are we necky? And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Did we get that drenched? We finally took off our clothes. Only you won't do that. Okay, but Steven, they have been drenched in water, covered in blood, covered in marble spit. This is the first time we've seen them take their clothes off to dry. This feels like they're naked for the sake of being naked. Doesn't matter how or I mean they were gonna kiss way earlier in the game. Choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it. Oh he's got freckles. Haven't you? Sorry, I just I know she has freckles and a bunch of scars. He's naked when he wakes up in jail and discovers he's the one that killed Joshua. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Apparently, oh, well, hello. No one is beyond. Saving. He's necky necky. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. That's giving them too much credit. Because Jill's you naked too. You survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've okay, but if we're gonna go Game of Thrones, go all the way Game of Thrones. Also, so I'm going to help you to give you what you need to protect us all. To be vulgar. His ass and balls must be freezing. If, if this is what you want, then... Don't worry, Clive. It is. I thought something else was about to happen. I really did. I'll give you the strength to bear it alone. But I'm not alone. These burdens I carry, my sins, my 
pain, my sorrow. I see now that they are all a part of me. Well, Jill does have two eyes. That's not going to attract all kind of attention. Taking Shiva? He is. I don't say that I just had a boss beat my ass. My last breath. Clive. You're already naked, you might as well. I promise you, Jill. Ma'am, your your hand is a little close. And I promise you, Clive. Is she crying? Why? That I will be there. No matter what you must become. I know. Y'all better kiss at this point. I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. Finally. Now they're gonna fade to black. So now he has the power of Shiva, which I might... I might replace... Bahamut, because those two powers are a lot... Don't always aim as well as I thought. Oh, where's the ship? I'm glad I'm missing whatever's happening, General Chat. At another server I'm in. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. Hey, Dalif. How are you? The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. There goes, Dalish. Then let's go home and find one. Okay, how the fuck are we getting home? Yeah. 
I feel that, Dalish. I struggled to get out of bed this morning, but I did. I've made some progress on cleaning, but not as much as I want to. Are you playing this, Dalish? I know Snail is, because I saw them posting screenshots in the Discord. I, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck. Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. Really, Dalish? He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherjah, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best. <sighs> we've the hard I, don't know if you I mean, I'm of the age where... FF7 was the defining Final Fantasy for a lot of people. Let's hope so. I still have my original PlayStation 1 copy. And the remakes. I should visit Joshua. Assuming Tai will allow it. First off, we're swapping out Shiva. I've only got two powers. Everything needs an update. I can master that for 500. Okay. Gone through that, so... Craft new things. How are you feeling, Joshua? Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. Then what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still... It Tomorrow may be one of those days, but I really need to clean my apartment and do laundry. But instead, chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. Yeah. You underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. Yeah, it was. It's just... I have never felt so powerless. And when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. How's the new place coming along? Y'all moved in yet?
I have so much stuff I need to frame that I picked up at cons. I either need to frame it or give it to someone who will appreciate it. What is this place? <gasps> Don't move. I have a bunch of stuff, Dale. I have a bunch of actually Dragon Age art that I picked up at cons, and it's just in a box after my move. I just moved in the same building. Here, it's fresh from the well. That's the same girl that your soldiers told to fuck off. I hope you feel bad, Dion. I've got two pieces from Lathangelis that I need to get framed. I don't know where they'll go, though, because I'm running out of wall space. I'm hesitant to put anything on the wall by the radiators. But I've got space behind me on the behind me where I'm sitting on the couch. For anything that's like wide but not tall. The lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Fiend works from the shadows. Oh, nice. Who was the guest last year? I forget. Do you do an art guest? Found a spot where I managed to scratch myself. This is my doing. My fault. My sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. I don't know who that is. And sell them. Or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. Oh, really? You ever thought about Crystal Sully? I know Crystal's iffy on cons right now because of COVID, but maybe next year. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Leon, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> Are you in a meeting? Or is Fulmer the art lead? Ah. Well, Phoenix. It would seem that I owe you my wings. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, at some point, probably post Gen Con, we should we should meet again so we can figure out panels and games. He can find an art. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then do I. Do you ever ask a question in Discord and someone gives you the obvious thing you were not clearly asking as an answer? Take your medicine. Of course, Lady Tyre. Set on leaving already, are ya? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes, it's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile, and that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. 
And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor. I'll go and tell you coming. While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. It's like, why did you post that? And then tell me what it is you posted. That's not why I asked you that. Like, you just posted it with no context. It's like, I can read. I hope you know that, right? You've seen more of the world these past five years than most do in a lifetime. It's a shame you never had a moment to enjoy it. Like, I asked a question. I didn't ask you to confirm what you wrote down. Uh, yes. Crystal's amazing. Oh, who has a plus over their head? Oh, not more blacksmith problems. Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old haunt. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. Akashic. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help, and quick. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Oh, that's not gonna go well. I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravosht. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Is everything we've received and everything promised. All done? Fancy a look at the list, do you? Quick look. Oh, they want you to go right now. Wait, I thought that. Oh no, we have to do it again? Y'all gotta wait. Everyone have a side quest. Clive, I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for Mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? Wow! Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't see my ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Wow. We will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters. All right, all right, if it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Wow, she's rude. Barnabas Tharm, the one they call 
The last king. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walund. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea, tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. I don't know, she she's up and down. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Not what you're trying to get. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Wow, she's rude. Alright, okay, she doesn't have the side quest. Let's see if the game will let me go to Dravash after I replenish my potions. I'll go as Meridu. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of Pepio nuts and all. Clive. Go on then. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. Is that all? <laughs> the stews will fill your day. Do what do I owe the honor? What's saying for you, dear? Nice. Oh, hello. All right. We lost you a good while. You can thank me later. Okay, it's so only a new. 
Only a new sword. Trouble with your gear, or... Yeah. The weight of all that shit. Clever girl, that one. You do what you need to do, Clive. My Lord Marquis, I... I heard about Eastpool, that some of my fellow guardians are to build a new home there, both for themselves and for Madame Martha's bearers. Is it true? It's true. I realized I should eat something. Just to be rebuilt. I have many fond memories of Eastpool. When I was a child, I know what I want. My aunt and uncle often. They would lavish attention upon me as if I were the son they never had. I went to see Aunt Hannah after my uncle passed away, but not nearly as often as I should have. Oscar, I'd like you to assist Sir Wade in the rebuilding efforts. But, but my lord, uh, my training is not yet complete. I, I couldn't possibly. I warned you I might not be the easiest of masters, but I'm not as hard-hearted as that. Go, be with your aunt. Rebuild her home. It's what she would have wanted. Yes, my lord. Thank you, my lord. Oh, Otto. Oh, Otto. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. I know I need to go over there. Boy, auto. said I'm looking for Doris is she here I'm afraid not she's at Martha's rest on a job my job actually when she heard what the mission was she insisted on going herself alone did she what was the mission following up on some new information once they'd settled in the bearers you helped liberate in the dragon's area were keen to talk about their imprisonment and about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. All right, I'm gonna... I'm gonna Oh, that took me nowhere. 
That took me literally nowhere. Jeez. My Lord Marquis. It was the greatest honor of my life. What can I eat that will not be loud? But now, so I bid you. Enjoy your lurk. I think I'm going to step away and make a your quick sandwich. I must admit... But I see now... Yote. Is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. Done. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen, though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But his grace's case oh, is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Talia and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. Uh, yes, for Joshua, anything? For Joshua, anything. Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? Fuck. A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But, alas... Yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood? Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord. Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood-red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. All right, now that the exposition is done, step out on the balcony and take a quick break because it's been almost two hours and I haven't really moved in two hours. So, Yes, I'm about to go make a sandwich. The 
with Sarah Clive. I'll be back in two to five. I'm taking you all with me in the kitchen for making a sandwich. It should be fairly quick. How's everyone doing?
I am almost out of bread. Which is a surprise to me because I didn't think I ate bread this quickly. And I definitely need to clean up the fridge before I leave town. Sorry, I'm sure you all did not expect a sandwich making adventure today. Rando question for the chat while I make this sandwich. What is like a struggle food that you have had and on occasion miss? Like, for me, it's mayonnaise sandwiches. Not they're good for you. Not that they have any nutritional value. Ugh, I found a gnat. Well, time for trash to go out. But on occasion, I miss just making a mayonnaise sandwich, which may sound weird. Uh, also, could you all hear me at all when I was in the kitchen? a side quest. Oh, I meant just talking. I asked a question and nobody answered, so I'm like, could you all even hear me? Hi, Jay. Basically, if you had a struggle food, what was it? Wow, I've gone entirely the wrong way. I need to go down to the pier. Have you tried Molly's lemon tart? Oh yeah, this sandwich I made is literally just bologna and mayo on bread. Cause Can the lost I'm so miss. Can we read Miss Editor's story for a lesson? I don't really have How was she? The Enterprise, I mean. Ah Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. Did you have a mo? Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the cheese designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification. 
and a system of reciprocal recirculatory rejection. Hi, MGA. That, that, um, let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A, a heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only Mithril engines get hotter. And you can't chuck ore in one of them and get metal out the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her Thanks. Exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? Oh, really? By the way, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff? I also have a bug up my butt to uh, go clean out the fridge. But I don't know if that cicada is still in the back door. I kind of don't want to deal with it. Smelter is similar to the mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell, yeah. We're only three short, mind, and we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume, and another in the Silent South over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Abven, which is in the Empire. All right then. Wish me luck. It'll do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. So, I have to go get these spheres. They're not even all in the same place. Wow. With Canva in the How was she? Okay. One else hiding a quest? Their cash run is something new. Wow, Leaf, I haven't thought about Eggo waffles in a while. Because the one thing I don't have is a toaster, actually. I've actually been trying to cut back on bread. How do you split the sea? Because I know if I had a toaster, I would eat way more bread than I do. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> okay, first off, let's see if the game will let me go anywhere if I'm st Oh, I'm not still locked. Excellent. That's not what I wanted. I wish Gav went with you more often. Spooters. 
I think it's safe to say Clive does not like spiders. Uh, if anyone is arachnophobic, there are giant spiders here. And crawdads. This one. I'm hurt, Toggle. Farewell. Okay. Um, well, sort of. Oh shit, I wasn't trying to bother that thing. Nope. Time to go. I was not trying to bother that thing. Oh, Spooters? Ice must not affect those things that much. Stay down. <sighs> Oop, I was on the right path. Stone wart. Yote mentioned blood red petals. And of course, there, oh, of course, there's Nakashik. Oh, I've always loved the music for. Oh, that hurt. Damn, Clive. To me, boy. Well done. Yep. That was a lot. All right, where are these flowers I need to pick? Oh wow, that fight took me way away. How was a uh, Microsoft Flight Sim? 
That was the uh, pictures you shared in Discord, yeah? Right. That should do it. Let's get these back to Yote. Sure, as soon as I go do this other side quest. I need to try that again. I was so bad at it, those... When I tried to stream at that time. Booters! Wow, it's a, they just called it a recluse. Well, it also just takes up so much space. Is it like over a hundred gigs? And then if you use the real-time tracking, that's just your internet gone for the year. I mean, Baldur's Gate though is going to be a hundred and something gigs, like a hundred and forty, a hundred and fifty. It's already 90 for the early access version, that's not the full game. Hundred and fifty? Jesus. It has to be on an SSD? Wow. Dora should be somewhere nearby. Assuming she's still here. Nope, that's a new quest. We're not doing that. Anything catch your eye? Take care out there, eh? Just because the heavens have gone to oh. they don't nearly done. Oh no. So I've got an SSD. Oh, I ran right by her. seems to be changing so fast lately I can hardly keep um star it. citizen is on my SSD bad news and good. you can tell that just by looking at people's faces okay I'm confused how is she a merchant Chris, where are you? Can't go on that door. Wanna know how to tell if the world's going to rack and ruin? Yeah, I uninstalled it on PC because I needed the room back. Um I may have uninstalled it from the Xbox too. It's just such a massive game. I and I was saying earlier I need to check and see. It doesn't still hurt, does it? It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. Um. How goes the investigation? Sid, what brings you to Martha's Rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away and then vanished without a trace. 
That was her just now, wasn't it? So, was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sambrek. After her brush with those beastmen on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort. Which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid, but I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Balm Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. Oh my god! 288 gigs? Jesus. That's a lot. I don't think any of my game folders are that big. She's one of ours. Ah, Clive. I was just about to send for you. I'd like you to take something to Sir Wade up in Eastpool. Seeds for planting. Thought it was about time they started growing their own food. I'll keep providing them with whatever they need in the meantime, of course. But if Eastpool's going to survive, it's got to be able to fend for itself. As of those poor bearers. They've lived their whole lives in servitude. But now they're their own masters. Small wonder they ain't got the foggiest out to provide for themselves. Oh boy! Is that like your whole hard drive, or is it just an SSD? Well, the wagoneers taking supplies up that way have been coming back with more and more reports of Akashic around the village of late. Sir Wade's putting a brave face on it, but I think even he's starting to worry. And if he's likely to share those concerns with anyone, it's you. All right. Thanks. Wouldn't ask if I didn't have to. There. That should be enough to keep them in Gizal Greens for a few years at least. Gizal Greens? Not the most mouth-watering crop, I'll admit. But they're hardy, they grow fast, and they fill a hole. Better that than something that'll wither away at first frost. And Chocobos love them too, which is no small thing. When I say all of us need to pull together to get East Pool back on its feet, I mean all of us. They ain't exactly succulent, but cook them right, and they're just about bearable. I'll take your word for it. Wow. Sir Wade will know what to do with them. I've got a two terabyte SSD in my machine. I'll look there and show him myself. I'm sure you will. I have so many quests right now, Jesus. to go for maybe another hour and then get back to get back to cleaning and then I've actually got mini painting hangout time with a co-worker planned I feel bad because I, I put star citizen in What's the other space one? Um, I'm blanking on the name because I'm not looking at my desktop. Yes, thank you. Those who are on that hard drive. Yeah, I've got Elite. I've got it installed. Have not played it in forever. Damn, Clive. There's a good boy. To me, boy. Yeah. 
I also need to do some housekeeping on my hard drive space in general. Because... I really don't know what all is installed on some of my drives. And I've got... Two externals connected. And I feel like either one of those can probably go. That can't go that way. Well, I'm back to the 6900 because the 79 XTX is running way too hot. I was really afraid my machine was going to burn out. It was running at 73C when I wasn't even gaming. So, the 6900 is back in there. Now the broken camp yet. How did Doris come to know a slaver, I wonder? We've waited long enough. She's not coming. <laughs> Ready the bearers. We're leaving. Back to civilization, is it, Mom? With all haste, lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more, and I'll be docking your pay. Uh, yes, Mom. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have company. Kill him. You're welcome to try. Y'all really be out here trying to kill Clive. Um, well, depending on what you're looking for, Blackjack, AMD is running a special right now. Uh, if you buy a new card, it comes with Starfield. And they had uh, the newer cards in stock. Is she raising them? Absolutely not. Five eighty, what card is that? Is that an AMD or an NVIDIA card? So much for your escort. You'll forgive me for not avenging my men. I'm not the Yeah, if you look at the new AMD cards, you get a copy of StarCraft with it. Do with me as you wish, Sid the Outlaw. Sid. Ah, Doris. I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade. You know. I always wondered where you'd vanished to, but casting your lot with this criminal of all people. Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. This woman, my former master, once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter, and I did. Terrible things to earn her favor. We kill her. Isn't all terrible. Surely. We had our fun too. Can we kill her? You were always so eager to learn and had such clever hands. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books. Always either or. But you 
proved yourself a master of both. Interesting. Why I kept you for my own. How about it, my little dagger? Care to swear that blade to me again? I never swore my blade to you, nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause, to liberate the bearers of this world. Farewell, master. Thank you for making me the weapon I am. What kind of weirdo dialogue is this? Righteous child. Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. Wow, what kind of... What kind of gaslighting bullshit is this? What do you want to do with her? I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore. And she no longer has friends in high places. The dame does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court will see that justice is done. All right. If you're certain. I am. And thank you. For everything. Now, I'd better let these bearers know that they're safe. Ow. That was a lot. And I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. A lot of these missions, though, feel very Final Fantasy XIV. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and Muleta. You don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. <laughs> Wish I'd known. She's been arrested, by the way, over in Sambrek. Went quietly, or... So we're told. Well, she's not really a parent. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. Can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. She'll be all right. I hope so. Suppose you should know, eh? You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Anyway, thanks again, Sid. The curse breakers would be lost without Doris. And you, of course. Keep up the good work, Cole. Wow, they just dumped my whole sordid past out there. Like, ah, never mind. And I'm back at the hideout, even though I wasn't trying to be. I was trying to go do the rest of those missions. Thanks, game. Yote, I brought back all the stone and water I could find. Will this be enough? Yes, my lord. Thank you. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. You and his grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others, and never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him, and I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so. But I beg you, my lord, do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind. I also need to go flash the BIOS on my computer, which sounds like a weird thing to say out of the blue. Aw oh, shit, we level 40. But I'm hoping that helps with the weird problems I've been having. But hands up if you've ever updated the BIOS and get super anxious when you gotta do it.
I don't know, why did you? I mean, it's, I've done it before, it's nothing new. But I don't know why, but it just gives me anxiety every time I need to go do it. Chocobos! Yes, I've been building computers for years. I'm comfortable messing around the guts of my machine, but for some reason... Flashing the BIOS is always super anxiety inducing. Oh, I am so far away from where I need to be. I don't like this. But I meant to go to Micro Center earlier, sure didn't do it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I haven't had to clear the sea moss in a while. What the absolute fuck? Uh <laughs> Sorry, I was not on the hunt. So I didn't expect a flan. So you take us otherwise, did you? Why does he sound like that? He always sounds like he is having the worst mint. Like. He's having like the w absolute worst time. No! Uh, ah! Sorry, I just couldn't help repeat, but his... repeat his... Oh... I would love that. You know what? I just... I just want to go get... this thing. I don't want to fight a flan. I don't give a fuck about this flan. I just want to hang out. Like, why? Why did that flan have to jump me? I, yeah, because I basically have to reboot, elect to go into the BIOS to flash it, and then reboot, like, let the BIOS update, everything's locked, so you just have to sit there helplessly while you watch your computer hopefully update. I'm surprised, honestly, I'm surprised there's still BIOS updates for my motherboard. It is older. Which is kind of why I want to get a new machine, but I priced out a new machine. Even, even getting just the basic parts. And they will not let you price out a machine without, um adding all the components. So even without a GPU or, or some other basic things, I still tallied up like two grand and I was like, I hate life. How did I get to two grand without even a GPU? Also, where in the entire fuck am I going? Okay. 
I just want whatever this is. This is literally where I was before. That's why I'm considering just getting up, going to Micro Center first thing tomorrow, and see if they can do a same day service of me picking a case, PSU, and water cooling, and they put literally everything from my machine into a new case. If they can do it same day. If it performs better with a higher PSU, I will know it's not just me. Because I've asked repeatedly, oh, do I need a new PSU for this really high voltage graphics card? No, you should be fine with an 850. Oh, it, I mean, I still got a... I would have to take an Uber there. It's not that close. On public transit, it would be a lot. It's like two buses and still a bit of a walk. I'll need to deal with these ones first. You're a fine house. Oh, still tempting. I used to still go all the time. And when I lived closer to, like, basically one bus line... Because it was a lot easier to get there. Oh, that was a mistake. You know what? We're just gonna go. Oh, you're such a wee bab. Oh yeah, bus is absolutely out of the question. I think when I was there last time, I uh, I had to take the train to Irvine. I think I had to take the Amtrak. That's how much out of the way it was. I got friends that live and work in Irvine. No, Surfliner's fine. It's just, it was, it was an adventure to get out to Irvine from downtown LA. Now to find this spherical echo. It was an absolute adventure. Where the fuck am I going, game? Oh, you don't have a car leaf? I figured you did, based on where you are. Okay, this game is not helping me. At all. Game, where's the thing I'm looking for? Please help me. I've already got this one. Oh, and Torgal can't help me here. Great.
Oh, absolutely. The 405 or the 101. Sometimes when I'm out there, if I want to go see friends that are like in Burbank or something, I'm like, we either have to do breakfast or lunch. Or if it's dinner, we're going to be out late enough where it's not going to take me 20 years to get back. Because I went to um, Guild Hall the last time. Just too much to find. Um. It was it was an adventure. Oh yeah, he's willing to give them these seeds. Yeah, my friend that lives out in Irvine, he did drive in one time to, to L.A. He's like, I'm not leaving till after work and after I've walked my dog, because otherwise it's a two hour drive. And I was like, fair. Absolutely fair. Ah, Lord Rossfield, what brings you to Eastpool? A delivery from Martha. I really need a fanfic where Clive is sick of everyone asking him to do everything under the sun. She's keen to cut the apron strings, then, is she? I jest, of course. You see, I had thought we might be able to revive the old wheat. Hey, seven. But they'd long since been to seed. Only day, evening. Martha was hoping he might be able to show the bearers how to plant and tend these. Oh, seven! I think is going to try to come to unplugged with us, Leaf. We're trying to get Fairbear to go. Their bonds before we brought them here. They know little of freedom, of providing for themselves and their loved ones. We're gonna cause so much chaos, y'all. I fear that all we have achieved in bringing them here is to exchange. But I'm gonna kick off the next part of the main story, and then I'm gonna call it, so I can do this BIOS thing. And then I'm gonna go paint some minis with a friend. It's about time we all started to provide for ourselves. Yay, seven! I'm excited. I have booked my hotel. That's far as I've gotten. A little too busy of late to focus on much besides bolstering our defenses. There have been alarming reports of the horde is closing in. They're coming. Unless, of course, they make me fight everybody under the sun. Gather the men in the square. Send to the rest for reinforcements. Yes, Sir Wade. That is the most awkward ass a cache salute. Of a veritable legion of them. They've been seen prowling around the northern reaches for a while now. We don't have the numbers to hold. I might leave my bias alone until tomorrow. So that myself and the guardians might be able to defend the village, but now you're out of time. Precisely. If reinforcements from the rest arrive... I need to see... I need to put a note in my calendar for when, um... For when, um... If you could call on reinforcements from Eastpool... You mean the bearers? Panel submissions close, so I get... So I can write them up, put people on them, and then... Send them to work, because I need that approval. Though they may not be trained soldiers like your guardians. What help they are able to offer could still prove the difference between victory and defeat. You're right, my lord. I will appeal to them. Ow. Hey, sorry, how it goes? I humbly beg your aid. We Guardians are few, and our enemies many. But I swear, we can defeat them with you at our side. Dude, you're about to make everybody die. They couldn't fight a wet paper bag. To serve as bait for those fiends so that you and your men might be spared. And to think we trusted you. Oh, shit. Say what you will. A home is not worth dying for. Wow. But it is worth fighting for. Sir Wade fights to give you lot 
a chance. Just like I do. Just like Sid does. Oh, absolutely. We all wanted to give you a home where you could be free. I ordered the puppy plush. I'm not sold on getting the grown dog plush. Mainly because it's a hundred dollars. This is your village. Your home. Also, they all look still malnourished. They're barely learning to be free. Give them a break. Jesus. They barely know how to be free. Let these people live. So then, are you going to stand by and let that happen to you? Are you going to accept fate like good little Bran did and die, having never stood up for yourselves? Or will you fight like three men? Not her with a fucking frying pan. Seven. Uh, Barnabas whooped my ass. Twice now. I know it's what they planned, but I didn't expect to give Molly Wop that bad. Do you even know how to use a sword? And now that I have, I don't want to lose it. I'm sorry. This is this isn't okay with me. They're all gonna die. We all will. Free men and women. They're all gonna die. This whole Braveheart fight for yours scene bugs me. They they don't know how to pick up a sword. They ain't got armor. They don't have shit. Like they're all gonna die. Just promise me one thing. That you'll show them how freeborn fight. <laughs> Gladly. Oh my god. Uh, I thought of, I just realized if I do my bios thing, it's going to take a long time because that always takes forever. If it was numbers you were lacking, you certainly won't be now. Thanks to you. Me? <laughs> oh, I just love the sound of my own voice. Lord Rossfield, my lady. We're ready. So what's the plan of action? We'll divide our forces into several small detachments, each made up of guardians, bearers, and guards from the rest. These will position themselves at strategic points around the village. Upon engaging with the Akashic, each detachment... <laughs> F for the villagers. Their effort will be remembered. You're going to lure them into the village? I am. We will have neither the time nor the resources to treat the wounded, so injuries must be avoided at all costs. Instead, we will focus purely on defense at first. By coordinating our withdrawal through the use of messengers drawn from among the bearers, we will aim to have the swarm converge at a point of our choosing. With luck... I'm gonna repost something. ...the perfect place for our most able warriors to surround them and fall upon them. And for you and I to finish them off. A sound plan. But one that'll require a leader with a cool head and strong nerves to coordinate the retreat. I'd say you have both in abundance to wait. But you'll so I'm gonna to ask y'all a question, and it may be weird, I don't know. Ha! And let you have all the glory. So wait! They're here! Then you know what you must do. We work together. Everyone playing their part. Each shielding the other that no man might fall. That what about the women and non-binary folks? You said no men. Rosaria. We've no time to argue, my lord. I'll do as you ask. And I will do as you ask. The question for the chat, especially those of us that are people of color. What do you all think of when you hear outside clothes? And do you wear your shoes inside or at least... If you do do wear shoes inside, do you make sure to not put them on the couch or anywhere else? Because calm before the storm. Someone posted this. I refuse to call blue sky posts.
skeets about Let this village fall. when basically about the attention to detail and culture how Gwen wears shoes inside and on Miles bed and how that is a white person thing to do and what's funny not funny Asian got to but the post I reshared was basically like y'all y'all wear your outside clothes inside you don't change Rude. Help me, boy. And I was like, you know, now that I think of it, there are a couple, there's no polite way to say, a couple white girls I knew where they did that in a, especially when you're not even at home, they did it in a hotel room some of us were hanging out in just curled up on someone's bed with their shoes on we don't know where the fuck they've been excuse me did that chocobo just fucking breathe fire on me Oh, that's a raptor. I thought a chocobo started breathing fire. I was about to be like, no, no, absolutely not. I just remember there was a con some of us were at. No, it wasn't a con. It was at someone's house. Not only did this girl fold up on someone's couch with her shoes on but then when she finally took her shoes off i kid you not she sat there and kept picking at her feet i know jay that's why i'm asking i'm saying it's something that i just read on blue sky and it's also coming from a black american i'll go after the curl Join me only so that's why I was just curious. Because I know if I say something like this on Twitter, we'll get all, no, this, we, we did that too. And it's like, okay. Hey, Magpie. Where are we going? one's mine. I'm saying that that is a that is a it was a post that I just read and saw on Blue Sky and someone replied with, you know, I feel like I was raised extra black because I don't find a lot of people who believe in that. Got these fucking goblins. There's also a lot of shit that I grew up being told that's not something we, aka black folks, do. And that was coming from a very American centric older black person POV. I mean, I grew up with a lot of horrible racial shit. Thankfully, I have learned not to repeat the things. I mean, I spent a year in Japan. You better not walk in someone's house and leave your shoes on. That's beyond disrespectful. God, I'm just trying to get to this mission. Why? Why is this difficult? Ah, oh, curl. And a cash of curl at that. I mean, I have never liked wearing shoes inside, ever. With me, 
toggle. Oh yes, give me that stagger. Look, depending on like in weather like this, it's it's a crapshoot on how much clothes I'm actually going to wear simply because it's a hundred degrees. I'm sorry. Be glad that I have anything on. Oh, we've had a heat warning and a air quality warning like the last three days. Why, even though it may have cooled off a little, my windows are not open. Texting me. All right. Back to East Pool. Jesus. I, and so I'm, I'm liking this game, and I need to ask Malvin if she's finished yet. And I do like it. I'm glad that there's no people of color in prominent roles because of the slavery backstory. But I also feel like there's two, there's a lot of FF14 influence in gameplay. Lord Rossfield, the curl, is it? It's dead. Y'all better fight. Take that curl and go cook it up. And for you, That's some meat. We were able to eradicate the wow. Of the I have guardians posted around the village to keep watch for further attacks, but all seems quiet for now. I hesitate to say it, but I think it might be over. I think it might. We did it. We saved Eastpool. Well, also the the way in the animation when people talk is very fourteen. A lot of these. Quest chains feel very 14. So Wade, it's us who should be thanking you. You brought us together. Showed us what it means to fight for what you hold dear. We never had nothing to call our own before. Uh, like I said, that's why I'd love a fanfic. No, we, we really Where... Forgive us, Sir Wade. You and your people saved us. And still we doubted you. But there's Clive no gets sick of everyone's shit. He's like, you know what? I've given enough. I'm done. To fight to protect what's ours. To protect Eastpool. And we shall. We all shall. Oh, it's actually down to 80 today. And if anyone or anything tries to take I hate that down to 80 is a thing I need to say. Come on then. Let's get to work. This village isn't going to rebuild itself. Yeah, because you all are getting a heat wave too, uh, Steven and J.A., yeah? Because it is normally not this hot for y'all. But yet, everyone says global warming doesn't exist. No. They're Rosarians. Oh my god, I need it. And I believe if he was still with us today... I don't mind warm, but 100 degrees is too much for me. I believe you might be right. I shall remain here, my lord, and do what I can to help rebuild the village. After all, Live and Geralt, absolutely, and, and Sid from earlier. Live Geralt and Sid. It's Pudlian, Sir Wade, but you should be proud all the same. 
I'll have to pull my weight too. Can't have the rest getting outclassed. Speaking of which, I ought to be getting back. Can we continue to count on your support, Martha? Of course, and I'd be counting on yours too. Us Rosarians have got to stick together, haven't we? Indeed, we the have. accents in this game that were killing me. Come by the golden stables when you get the chance. Ugh. I ain't paid you for delivering them seeds yet. All right, I will. Oh, that's not bad. I know Stephen was talking about how hot it was getting though. I've had the AC pretty much going non-stop the last few days, but I probably can turn it down today, or turn it off once I'm out of the living room. Hearing the goblins from the Stillwind marshes. How could I forget? But Leon, I don't get it. I was talking, so I also missed the joke. There's one sight that I shall never forget. You, facing off against that giant marble. Not a trace of fear on your face. Since that day, there have been more than a few times when I felt like giving up. When the odds seemed so stacked in the enemy's favor, I thought I may as well just lay down my sword and surrender. But every time, I would think back to the look in your eyes that day and remember what it means to be a shield. Know that whatever trials Eastpool may face, I shall never lose courage. Oh, really? I did not know that. So wait. Uh, hopefully the rain cools it off and doesn't make it muggy. I know that Eastpool, and indeed all of Rosaria, will be safe in your hands. Thank you, my lord. I know the rest of the world will be safe in yours. I hope I can catch Malevent tomorrow because we haven't talked in a while. I'll do my best. Um, hands up in the chat or bear emote or Baldur's Gate emote. If you are planning on playing Baldur's Gate 3 come Thursday. I'm I'm not peeved, it's not their fault, but I I can't do my stream before work like I normally would. Except for maybe an hour. Because the it doesn't release till 10 a.m. my time. The hero returns. It's lucky you came by when you did, eh? Not only did my seeds get delivered, but you went and saved Eastpool and all. I just did what I. For once, being on the west coast is not not being on the west coast bites me in the ass. Before I change my mind. Really, Leaf? Do it. Do it. So, I'm debating taking my Steam Deck or my laptop, even though it's a friend's weekend. Nobody tell Kelly. Well, it was your idea. I know that, but... Because I don't know what we're going to do Friday, well, beside dinner. Bearers in charge of themselves. Thinking for themselves. Working for themselves. Not your hideaway, but not even hidden away. Though I suppose the rest ain't much different nowadays. You know, I'm hoping I get a PR... PR access like soon before Thursday. It's supposed to be Friday, but life happens. I take it you didn't always see eye to eye. What happened? Well, if you really want to know, I started doing what I do long before I met Sid. In fact, that's how I met him. Or at least how he came to meet me. And if I do get access, I still can't play it before release. Up at the stables one day, asking questions about who'd been buying up bearers. Founder knows what he thought I was doing with them. Running a hunt, poking around in their innards. Something awful, anyway. Me, I thought he was a new constable. Thought the game was up. But somehow, we both managed to work out what each other was about. And before I knew it, the cheeky arse was rattling on at me about how I was doing it all wrong. After all my hard work, pfft, told me I was giving them relief, but not freedom. That my bearers were still dying as uh. slaves. Got right under my skin, it did. Told him if he didn't like it, he could bugger off and report me to the garrison. And do you know what he did? He smiled, and then he laughed. And then I did the same. We made a pact that day, 
That's Steam's problem. I was really gonna be up at 7 a.m. playing that fucking game on stream until I had to log into work. To make life better for bearers, just like your dad. Now it's gonna be a late for me stream on Thursday. Around the time Elwyn became Archduke, growing up, I saw how he tried to change things. He certainly didn't laugh. Oh, do you have a link for that? Or indeed. Normally they do midnight releases, which is 11 or 9 or 10 for me. Which is why those of us who follow in their Although they usually go by East Coast time. Now, if it was 8 a.m. East Coast time, it'd be 7 for me. But they're doing 8 a.m. Pacific. I mean, we're getting the game a whole month early. I'm not going to complain. And I might have bought it on PS5, too. Anyway, enough nattering. Better get back to work. Let's see about making everyone some dinner, shall we? Oh, that reminds me. If you're a content creator, you can request a key. I don't know what the parameters are. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Well, I work Pacific office hours. So, again, if it was releasing any earlier, then I could get in a three-hour stream before work. But I'm not. Oh no, so Shingatsu, not your thing. I would have thought that Baldur's Gate be right up your alley. Revashed. Dravosht is still standing. For now at least. If you can swing a hammer. I still may get on at 10 a.m. Clive! You're in As it will physically pain me not to play the game at release Mostly until after work. I spoke to Doris's scouts and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes, at least. Well done. Welcome back. Sid. Yeah. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Dravosht would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw? Keen to help us out again? I am okay with not knowing why he's called Snotty. Sneak off without me, did you? Oh, Blackthorn's like, excuse me. Blackthorn. Oh, oh man. what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. So then, how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old coaches, I see. Then your idea of an apology. Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did, yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. Vulcan, our master, didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Dravosht, barring himself, of course. Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you're wasting half of mine instead. You're what Dravos needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick. But I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty. Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. 
This is no time for bickering. I would leave him out there for the Akashic and just close the gates. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. Oh my god, you two get it together. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. Short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. Prick or not, I won't abandon Dravos to a swarm of Akashic. I've heard the word prick so many times in this game. Just say the word. The villagers know to keep out of sight when the fighting starts. You, uh, ready for the off, then? We can't afford to waste any more time. Right you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts, though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and... Blackthorn? You and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the... Akashic on the move! How close are they? Within sight of the walls. And there are more coming up from the mines. Well, how are you liking Remnant 2? I've been watching people play it. I don't know if it's my thing, though. Beside what I did, and I did pre-order Starfield. When Baldur's Gate was still coming out August 31st. Prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stands, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what Akashic beasts can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. Okay. Which game? Starfield? Start work on the gates as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. And if they kill you? You evacuate. But it won't come to that. I promise. <laughs> oh, is it? I didn't realize it was a co-op. Everyone I've seen playing has been playing solo. Give those things what for, yeah. Uh, seven. If you're still here, do you know about how long this mission takes? Asking because I do need to be, hop on a call at four my time, so I've got about twenty minutes. Well, the game's not giving me a choice, so... Five, that noise, friend. Okay. Look, I saw that big horn. I was like, well, I'm gonna die. It was not as tough as I thought. I really thought it would be harder, which I'm glad it wasn't. Also, how have we not set everything on fire? I mean, if you want to explore the galaxy with friends, there's Star Citizen, there's Elite Dangerous. I don't know. I... On the one hand, I do like the options for co-op. Oh, it's a griffin. But on the other, games all relying so heavily on co-op and you must play together is, is killing a lot of games for me because I just, I don't want to feel like I have to 
play with people in order to get the full experience. Also, not everyone wants to play games with other people. Which sounds terrible now that I said that out loud, but... I don't know, it's just me. I can also just be very... Is that it? Everyone is different. <sighs> Are you for real? Are you for real? Got Camaros can do literally a bunch of damage. And that's why there's the running joke about D and D. Me beating on this thing with fire. You're a fine hound. You're a fine hound. Yes, give me that stagger. Come on, Camaro, I got things to do today. Oh, Shiza. Are you using ice on me? Really? Ah, oh, you missed me. No, thank you. Oh, yeah, give me that fire. I can do I can call fire too. Ooh. All right, let me catch up on chat. Well, that's why I like how Diablo does co-op where you can co-op, you can not co-op, it doesn't make a difference. The game doesn't punish you for not co-oping. But when you do co-op, you really level faster. You get a lot better gear. Don't tell me I forgot someone. Excuse me. 
I mean, but I can understand wanting co-op in a game, just... I think with something like Starfield, I don't know that I'd want co-op, but that's me. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry? Good. Though you do know, more will come in time. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. All right, let's have this talk, and then we're going to go for real. And I'll probably stream tomorrow afternoon. I don't know what time, though. Uh, partner's coming by for dinner and hanging out. So. Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I do want to get up kind of early tomorrow and get some trash out and clothes out. Dravost won't forget what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well, I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. With the ether flood springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north, and I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravos needed you. So, thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long, and I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. Too bloody right you shouldn't. Though I doubt I'd have listened. I always envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me, it was anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. And from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier... Atomic Heart? What's that? Finally, something we can agree on. I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Dravoj isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day because it's easy and turns a profit. It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. The are they the other queer couple? Passion for the craft is our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. <laughs> I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. No There's supposedly another queer couple beside Dion and Terrence, and I have no idea who it is. Their lives to my steel, and I dare let them down. Uh, fair enough. But that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. Blackthorn. The master smith turned outlaw, back in my good graces. I never thought I'd see the day. Are we done? Pretty well, wouldn't you? Even better than I'd hoped. Sid. I've got something for you. And this is? A token of our lasting gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far grander gift. 
Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief for generations. Now hold on, Sultan. There's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel, and I've learned to own an edge Odin would be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show, either. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravorged in the first place? Hmm? A certain ring? I knew I'd never surpass you with a hammer and tongs. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork. Between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> you know what? I think you might be right. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome. As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. Wait, so we saved the town and both of them are leaving? Really? Alright, we are going back to the hideaway and saving. And I'll probably pick this up tomorrow. I'm going to put Tears of the Kingdom down for a couple days because I got super frustrated with it. I was lost. Thank goodness Sid made it home safely. And, uh... Excuse me. But I've got a call to hop on. But I'll be on some point tomorrow. Yeah, alright. Uh, I think we're gonna go raid Curta Girl Chan. She's on with some chill Stardew Valley. You're welcome. I, I'm trying to finish both this and Tears of the Kingdom before Thursday. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, Coder. Coder. Girl Chan. Ballastea. Red. For sub, use a high emote. If you're not a sub, for high howdy emote you have. And I'll see you all at some point tomorrow afternoon. Have a good rest of the day. Be safe. Be cool if it's hot where you are. And uh, catch y'all tomorrow, probably by one or two at the latest. Thanks, y'all. See you later. Bye.